Hey guys, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. I wanted to make this video for a long time about this good old Cult Overdrive pedal, the Box of Rock. This is not a paid review, I bought the pedal myself a couple of years ago and I was pretty disappointed first, to be honest. Now why is that and how come I love it a lot nowadays? This video might be helpful if you're interested in Marshall in the Box kind of pedals. <laughs> In order to understand and appreciate the Box of Rock pedal, you have to know a few details about it. Before we get into that, a short reminder, please hit like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget about the description box under the video. If you open it up, you'll find timestamps, gear links, additional info, signal chain, etc. The Box of Rock came out in 2006, as far as I can tell. So it's not a new pedal at all. It's actually one of the first AMP style overdrive pedals. It's supposed to sound like a Marshall JTM amp cranked. That sounds very promising indeed, but here's the first fact you need to know about it. Zachary designed this pedal for JTM users to get that cranked sound with their amp without having to turn it up that much. He voiced the pedal for those amps, which means that if you have a different sounding amp and use the pedal with that, you will not necessarily even have that JTM tone. This is a really interesting approach from him, designing a JTM sounding pedal for JTM amp owners. <laughs> Nowadays, most of the pedal makers will voice their pedals for pedal players. <clears throat> Most of these players will prefer a so-called pedal friendly amp or pedal platform amp which will have a beautiful and full sounding clean channel and quite some headroom not necessarily a JTM or a Plexi. I used to be obsessed with this old British crunch tone <coughs> Marshall <coughs> and I wanted a pedal that gives me that flavor. I tried out tons of different overdrive pedals and most were great but I didn't fall in love with them. Then this pedal showed up used and I went for it. It arrived and I plugged it in right away. And then I was... Disappointed. It was so muddy. Both of my amps have very full sounding clean channels and the pedal's bass was just overwhelming. No wonder. It's designed to be used with a Marshall JTM amp, which has way less bass end than my Rev, Amazon Mark III, Fender amps, etc.
And then I figured out something. This is a pretty obvious thing to do, but still, it just blew my mind. I put the game back to around 12 o'clock and put a mid-focus overdrive in front of it. I mean, that's what people do with their marshals anyhow, right? And that's where I fell in love with the box of rock and I knew I will never sell it. I mean, it's not a big surprise that it's muddy without an overdrive in front of it. The JTM is the same. A couple of years ago, I had a chance to play a, like a hand wire reissue one and it was awesome for old school rock, but man, it was muddy. You have to put a Tube Screamer or a Boss OD1 SD1 in front of that amp to tighten it up. It's exactly the same thing with the Box of Rock. In case you don't play a Marshall JTM amp, but consider getting a British voice overdrive, keep this in mind. The Box of Rock will get you very close to that JTM vibe, but if you want it to stay focused and tight, you might want to throw a mid-pushy overdrive or an EQ pedal like the Boss G7 in front of it. That's especially important if your amp has quite some low end. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite Marshall E voiced pedal. Oh, and which amp do you use for your pedals? See you next Thursday in another video. I'll be back. Bye bye.